I'm Dr. David Penn, and I'll be presenting at Marketing Dentistry 2016. This year, our approach is totally new and unique. We're going to be looking to the demograph of Australian dentistry, looking at particular areas, particular cities and suburbs, and trying to understand the changing nature of the patients that you'll be treating. Come and see us and we'll talk to you at Marketing Dentistry 2016 about the skill sets you need to bring on board and then integrate within your practice and ensure that your practice managers are delivering the efficiency that will drive home these new skill sets to your patients. Then you need to be able to market it effectively. Internal marketing and external marketing, both are absolutely paramount these days. Sitting on your hands will simply not deliver the outcomes that you want. When a particular patient walks into your practice, do you understand what they really want? This is all about target marketing. If a Gen Y patient, say somebody born from 1983 up until the year 2000, if they walk into your practice, what are your expectations of what they want? Now you know that the number of decayed, missing and filled teeth in these patients is gonna be minimal. So you're not going to be making anything out of restorative dentistry. You know and understand that this particular cohort really wants to look good. They want it, they want it now. This is part of their maintenance program. Do you have the skill set? Does your practice understand what this patient wants? Now, generally speaking, aesthetic treatments are something that they're really after. On the other hand, a Gen Xer, somebody who maybe is 10, 15 years older, has a completely different rationale and concept of what they want. They still want the aesthetic treatments, but they perhaps may be a little bit circumspect or more circumspect about spending the money. They may have a mortgage, they may have a couple of kids at schools, and their amount of disposable income may be not as high as the, the, the baby boomers or Gen Y. Nevertheless, they are very important parts of your practice that you have to understand what's going on inside their heads. So again, what is particularly important is in all the different cohorts of the patients that you sort of see, understanding what your target market wants. Just as importantly, do you have the skill set to offer them? If you're a 60 year old dentist and your patient is full of young kids, do you want to be doing fluoride treatments for them? Or do you want to hand that off to a younger dentist and you concentrate on the areas that you enjoy and perhaps are more profitable and where you have a lot of experience? Horses for courses. Never ever in the history of Australian dentistry has this become more important because we do have a incredible storm approaching us whereby prices are dropping, competition is increasing dramatically, health funds are influencing us significantly and the quality of dental dentistry, the quality of dental care, the quality of dental education amongst our patients is way higher. This is your future. Don't miss the opportunity of spending the time with us and trying to understand these macro and microeconomic factors and how to prepare yourself to have a practice which will be successful today and tomorrow.